So, what happens when acids dissolve in water? First of all, let's talk about what is an acid. An acid in an aqueous solution ionizes to form H plus ions. Acids are also called proton donors. There are different definitions of acids, but at this point, it's the best if you remember that acids are molecular compounds that are formed from hydrogen and the nonmetal and a hydrogen and a polyatomic ion. And then when they dissolve in water, they form H plus ions. Okay, so there are two types of acids, strong acids and weak acids. Strong acids will fully dissociate into smaller ions in aqueous solutions. For example, like hydrochloric acid, HCl, in aqueous solution is going to form H plus and Cl minus ions, okay? Just like ionic compounds. And the weak acids dissociate only partially, okay? So strong acids actually strong electrolytes and weak acids are actually weak electrolytes. And how can you show that actually an acid is only dissociating partially? Well, using these double arrows. The double arrow shows me that some part of uh, hydrofluoric acid would like to dissociate into H plus and F minus, but another part likes to stick together. Okay, so how do you know whether an acid is strong or weak? The easiest way is to memorize the seven strong acids, okay? Hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid, hydroiodic acid, okay? Chloric acid, perchloric acid, nitric acid and sulfuric acid and those are the only seven strong acids okay so let's talk a little bit more about electrolytes so strong electrolytes fully dissociate in water and examples of strong electrolytes are ionic compounds which are formed from metals and nonmetals, or metals plus polyatomic ions strong gases the ones that we just discussed strong bases and bases are substances that form hydroxide ions in solutions so for example sodium hydroxide will form na plus and oh minus ions okay all right so what are weak electrolytes weak electrolytes are weak acids for example acetic acid or carbonic acid they only dissociate partially and non-electrolytes are the compounds that do not dissociate in water and those are generally molecular compounds such as sugars and alcohols okay i hope this makes sense see you in the next video